It's amazing. You know, I feel very grateful that I have this opportunity to sing. I'm in front of, you know, the Indonesian people. Like, this is my first concert in Indonesia and first time singing in front of the Indonesian people. So, yeah, it's really excited to see everyone and hopefully they like my music. So usually I write from like really personal experiences, like Best Friend was actually a song I wrote for my best friend when she was leaving because I went to an international school so people you know, would come for a couple of years and then leave and then she was leaving to another country so I felt really sad and wanted to sing her this song to say you know, thank you so much for being my best friend and it doesn't matter if you're in another country you're still going to be my best friend, you know, so usually I write about things when something happens in my life and then it gives me sort of, uh, music gives me an outlet to channel all of my emotions, you know, like I'm sad, I'll turn it into a song and then I can, you know, move on with my life. Dream, I actually collaborated with a Filipino artist called Donnie Pangilinan. We were in the studio together and we wanted to write a really fun, like, you know, love song and then we kind of just both put our heads together and then we came up with Dream. I actually have not, I have not heard about Indonesian music. I would love to, I would love and I would love to listen to some live bands here when I'm in Indonesia. I, I love the Philippines, so my mom is Filipino um, and like loads of my family live in the Philippines. Um, the music there is great and my band are also like, two of them are Filipino, so I think the quality of musicians, Filipino musicians is amazing like there's loads of people that can you know play instruments but I think the Filipino culture in Filipino culture you're kind of brought up to sing or to play music you know we do we do a lot of karaoke and we go out to like some nice restaurants and everyone's singing so I think there's loads of great Filipino musicians but I'm also excited to you know here come to Indonesia go to different Southeast Asian countries and experience their music too because I think that Southeast Asia has a lot to offer you know not just the Philippines I was 15 I was in Jakarta for a math competition <laughs> so I was staying at a school and then I did some exams and then I left. So I didn't really experience Jakarta. It was just doing papers. I still study. I'm still at university. So I love balancing both, you know, studies and my hobbies and my passion music. I think that getting an education is very important because it opens the doors to a lot of things in the future. And I love learning about new things, so I study psychology. But I think it's also even more important to have your passion and to follow your passion. So mine is music. Um, I write to help myself get over difficult times, you know? And my, what I want to do in the future is help other people who's going through a similar experience, you know, get over it. Because I think music is a way that helps us connect with each other. Like, I don't know you, but you could listen to my song and you could automatically feel connected to me. Like, with the script, I'm currently on tour with them. I listen to their music and I feel like this, I wish that I wrote this song because I feel the exact same way that this song is making me feel, you know? So I want to be able to help people going through really difficult times I hope that when they listen to my music, they feel better and they know that like I'm always there for them. It's just the last one is Indonesia. So we're doing Bandung on Sunday, but I started in Manila, then I went to Singapore, Bangkok, and now Jakarta. Yeah, it's fun and it's really awesome to see the different cultures. So in you know, let's say in the Philippines are like this, and in Bangkok they're like this. Um, the crowd is always different, so I'm very excited to see what the Indonesian people are like today. I hope so. I hope so, and I hope to collaborate with other artists, you know, and write songs with them. But we never, we don't know what the future holds, but I'm praying that I can. <laughs> so I'm doing, I'm releasing an EP. Um, beginning of next year so it's four songs two songs are already on it so let me go easy and so far away and then there's another I have another song coming out next end of November and then one coming out in January and then those four songs should make up my EP it's more so songs that I've written when I'm older you know
know, so the songs are kind of still gonna be about love, heartbreak, a lot of different emotions, but the sound, like the production is different because I worked with a new producer, a new producer in LA, so hopefully, hopefully people will like it.